sunshine yesterday. Hopefully we'll see a little today. Yeah, it was a beautiful day for being outside, maybe taking a walk after those Christmas Day dinners. Outside today, we are going to start off with sunshine. The clouds will fill in by the end of the day, and I'm tracking some precipitation for later this evening and tonight around our area, Rhode Island, Fall River, New Bedford, Cape Cod just rain showers, but we have family that's leaving the house later today after say five or six o'clock this evening, Worcester, Hartford, Springfield could get a little icy. There may be a little bit of freezing rain as the leading edge of rain showers moves in. Our threat tracker, I'm going to keep it in the green right now, borderline for tonight as we track not only some rain showers, but gusty winds, parts of our area under a wind advisory. So I will show you that there could be a little bit of wind damage in a few spots. I don't think it'll be a widespread issue. And then the Tuesday morning commute starts out rainy, but the rain doesn't last all day. Outside right now, 20 under dry skies in Smithfield, 16 in Taunton, 24 Providence, 26 in westerly wind chills even with a light wind running in the low and mid teens outside for most of our area. Providence as you travel over the highway maybe headed into uh, work this morning not finding any weather related issues. We will see again sunshine you can see clear skies over New England but this is the system that will eventually bring about the extra clouds and some rain showers along a cold front that will approach overnight tonight and into your Tuesday morning. Let's track it for you. So we'll start off with the alerts. There's a freezing rain advice until 11 o'clock tonight for the areas just to our north. So Worcester County, Springfield, Hartford, Northwestern Connecticut, all under that rain advised freezing rain advisory. For us, it's a wind advisory. East Bay of Rhode Island down to the coastline and into Fall River, New Bedford, Cape Cod could see some gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour tonight into tomorrow morning. So that Wind advisory doesn't start until midnight. In terms of the rain arriving, not until the end of the day. So looking noontime, still with sunshine, clouds rolling in this evening. After 7 or 8 o'clock is when we start to track those rain showers. And again, they're sort of spotty first part of the night. We'll see a period of some showers into Tuesday morning's commute, and then it winds down. So by midday, this is over with, and the clouds will be clearing out. Traveling this morning, I don't expect any issues. Just dry and cold, a warm coat, hat, and gloves needed. And for the afternoon, the temperatures are Cool today, upper 30s to around 40 along the coastline. Sun to late day clouds, mid to upper 30s in Woonsocket, Johnston, and West Warwick. And some late day clouds in Fall River and New Bedford, but dry skies and light winds through the day. Tonight again, those scattered rain showers expected. Notice the temperatures tonight. They do climb up. So we're looking at overnight lows starting around 40, but climbing to near 50 degrees. The rain chances tomorrow, highest in the early morning, dropping after 10 a.m. And it looks dry in the afternoon. So seven day future cap. Here's how it's looking. 40 degrees for the high today. That's not until this evening. 54 for tomorrow's high. Rain showers early in the morning. Drier in the afternoon. Very mild day tomorrow. Wednesday's cooler. Thursday, got another system to track. It's a little track dependent here and whether we get any snow out of it and maybe enough snow for some small accumulations. Does it look at like at least we'll see some rain mixing in continues Thursday night then over with before dawn on Friday Friday looking cool and dry and so does New Year's Eve day and through about midnight New Year's Eve night and then on Sunday another system to watch here could bring some rain and snow showers to southern New England we'll keep you updated online and on your mobile